on the open highway. This will give you an idea of what I've been talking about, Senator. I've been begging for troops to clean the outlaws out of the state. I'll call out the garrison. All you have to do is report conditions to Congress. With troops, I can do the rest. down, get your hands in the air. Hurry up, hurry up, tell the passengers to do the same. I guess you better come out reaching, folks. This here bandit looks like a tub on You, line up with the others. Lady can stay inside. All right, start shelling out. You with the moth-eaten whiskers, that means you too. Hurry up, hurry up. Now you galoots, start unfastening your suspenders. You heard me unfasten them. But there's a lady present. That's the general idea. You gentlemen will be so busy holding up your pants you won't be able to stop my getaway. Hey, now, this has gone far enough. I gotta get this stage to Rock Springs or it'll be off schedule. Stop that palaver. You can take off your suspenders too. Right, miss? I think so. Thanks, Paul Revere. <laughs> Looks like you're the one that had the wild ride. Isn't rescuing ladies a little bit out of your line, Mr. Bandit? Not at all. Pleasure before business is my motto. This sort of interferes with your business, doesn't it? Well, it changes a little. But then I got a bigger deal in mind. You better not trust your luck any further and get on your horse. My luck's holding out all right. Then that might not be a bad idea. What about this stagecoach? Think you can drive it back all right? Of course. Come along then.
And it was Billy the Kid who rescued me, Uncle Jim. Well, then the holdup must have been a joke. Joke, nothing. That bandit meant business. Eh, Billy ain't no bandit. He stayed just hold up to show you what the governor's up against. Everybody around here knows you're being blamed for these crimes. That's why Billy wanted the senator here to see how easy it is for these outlaws to pull a hold up. Just like Billy. Ridiculous. This man's alibi. They're both probably in it. There's nothing ridiculous about it. If you knew Billy the Kid as I do, you'd know he'd never rob a stage. Aren't you placing a lot of faith in him, Governor? I'd trust him with my life. And so would I. Well, we'd better shove off now. The stage has been delayed too long. Pull that fake hold up trying to show the senator just what you're up against. But the senator wasn't convinced. And I'm afraid it's going to act as a boomerang. I guess I did put my foot in it. Now you're in worse trouble than you were before. Oh, then you heard about the movement of foot to impeach me. Yeah, this place is a hotbed of rumors. I didn't realize it was so serious, though, Governor. Serious? Why, it's almost reached the crisis. The people are about ready to call for a special election. Special election? That's right. And you know, Billy, this campaign to get me out of office seems to be too well organized for just the people themselves. Somebody who knows how to pull the political strings must be behind it. Any idea who it is? No, I haven't. But the center of the trouble seems to be right here. That's why I came to Dry Springs. Yes, but what reason would they have for impeaching you? Why, you've been the best governor the state has ever had. <laughs> well, thanks, Billy, but evidently a lot of people don't think like you do. They've laid this whole campaign of crime at my door. Not only have they accused me of being negligent and running my office, but being in cahoots with the outlaws as well. I guess your friendship for me hasn't done you any good. People just don't seem to understand. Well, Billy, I've never doubted your honesty and integrity. Besides, I owe you a debt I'll never be able to repay. Remember that time at Dodgeville? Mm, let's forget that. I'm trying to figure out a way I can help you now. Governor, you better start from the beginning and tell me all you know about it. Well, it began with this outbreak of crime that spread over this state like wildfire. And as leading citizen and banker of Dry Springs, you can be a great deal of help to me, Mr. Randall. Well, thanks, Senator, but I don't think you need any help with your investigation. You're smart enough to figure things out for yourself. I'm sure you didn't fall for that gag about the hold of being a joke, did you? Why, certainly not. But joke or not, Billy the Kid should be behind bars. You're right, Senator. And I don't like the way he's pulling the wool over the governor's eyes. Well, someone has to open the governor's eyes, and I intend doing it. Well, I won't take up any more of your time, Mr. Randall. Oh, uh, it might not be a bad idea if you left.